Hey everybody, Brett here from Golf Coast Sourdough Beck. We have some nicely proof loaves here and we're going to be showing how to put them into your Dutch oven. So as you can see, they have grown quite a bit and then you press them, they have this very pillowy feeling. They probably can go even longer, honestly, but we're just going to get them in because the kids are in bed and it's time to, it's time to make some bread. So um, one thing, so we've had, if you watch the first video, you know, we've had our Dutch ovens preheating in the oven at 475. It's been like over a couple hours now, so they are super, super hot. One thing I have come to learn with dealing with hot Dutch ovens is that there is no oven mitt ever made that can withstand grabbing onto like that hot cast iron for very long. And so instead of trying to go out and get the fanciest oven, oven mitts you can, what we've done is basically you do a two the a two piece solution. So you get your regular oven mitts and then you put a rag down too, and then that gives you some extra insulation. And really, you only really need that extra bit on the part with the handle. The other part will be able to, to um, hold it regularly. So I'm gonna grab the Dutch ovens out, set them on here. They will be a little smoky because it's oil that's been on the Dutch oven if you've been seizing it since it's cast iron. If you use a glazed one, you're not going to have to worry about that too much. Um, they are very, 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 very... When I lift the lids up, I'm sure lots of smoke's going to come off. Ooh, boy. I also rinsed them out a little bit when we put them in, so have some steam coming off of there too. Extra points if we get the smoke alarm to go off in the middle of the video. <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet. Okay, so these are smoking hot, obviously. Um, now, one thing we're going to do is to transfer them um, is we're just going to kind of very gently lift them up here and put them in. Um, so this one you can see is almost a little too big for the Dutch oven, so we're going to have to smush these little ends a little bit just to get them in, but that's okay. I'm just, what I'm trying to do is handle it very gently because I don't want to squeeze it at all because that'll kind of push out any of the nice bubbles that we've been proofing to get in there. So I'm going to get underneath it and just plop it right in. It's a little bit big for this Dutch oven, but you know, that just, it'll come out a little extra rustic. That's okay. And then here's the round. I'm going to do the same thing, get underneath it and kind of gently drop it in there. And then we're going to do some scoring. So one thing we found with scoring for a long time, I messed around with those very fancy, like, razor blades on a stick. Um, you might see, like, these beautiful pictures of people scoring, like, you know, the craziest, like, signing their name, basically, into dough. That's never worked for me. So what I found is instead of fussing with that, using a good bread knife works really well for just making simple lines. So with this, we're just going to make a nice score, straight line right on top. That's going to do that. And... The point of scoring right away, actually, could you zoom in there a little bit? If you see inside how you can really see some of the bubbles when you cut into it, that mean, that's a good sign that this is going to be a really nice loaf. So the point of scoring, by the way, is to kind of control the growth. Because what happens when you put dough in the oven is that it starts to heat up and then as it heats up, the yeast starts to get really, 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 really active and starts to go just in overdrive. And that's where it gets that nice oven bloom. Um, when it goes in there um, and that's why it expands and so when you make that cut it kind of controls that expansion so if you imagine this is like the outside of your loaf if you make a cut right down the middle like that when it opens up it's going to open up on that cut and so that's where that's how you can control the growth so that's kind of the point of scoring now I'm going to show you a little trick if you're really nervous about scoring um, with any kind of knife. Another really handy trick is a good pair of kitchen shears. And what this does is a nice cut with these will make a really nice oval. And so I'm just gonna do kind of a couple cuts in here. I'm just gonna do four, make it nice even. And so you'll see when these come out that they're gonna be kind of these oval shapes. And this is, the scissors is really a, uh, a foolproof way to score stuff and you never really have to worry about it being dangerous at all. So then I'm going to pop these lids back on. And remember, these are super hot. And if you even brush up against these, it will give you a nice burn. I have many, that's how you can tell a baker. You get I have many a burn from stuff like that. So be careful. And then I'm going to put these back in. And so with the Dutch oven, they cook, they start to cook pretty fast. 
Um, and because it's like surrounded by that hot, hot temperature all the way around it. I'm also going to put the kiddos ones in here, just in front. Those are going to be a lot quicker, obviously, since they're smaller. And um, I'm going to set a timer for about 10 minutes. Because after 10 minutes, remember with the Dutch oven, the point of it is you're holding the steam inside to keep it as a nice human environment. And so when, um, and that keeps the crust from setting too quickly. So after about 10 minutes or so though, it's, it's set, it's going to be what it is. And so what we like to do is take the lid off so that it can help brown it a little more quickly. So I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes, take the lid off. And then um, probably set it for another 10 minutes and check the temperature to see if it's done. Um, and that should be it. So thanks again for joining us. We'll take some pictures of our final product. And I uh, hope you guys have a good night.